Hey guys, welcome back to my fucking hot channel. It's so freaking hot today. I want y'all to like this video just because of the fact, not because of the fact that I'm reviewing the most famous powder on earth right now, because it's the most talked about powder, most controversial powder with a beauty. You know what you that? Just kidding. Um, it's super hot in here. There's a heat wave. I'm well aware of that. But in here in Belgium, it's 35 degrees right now. It's 35 degrees Celsius. It's horrible. It's it's. Mm -mm. You guys have no idea. So due to the fact that I'm filming in this weather, because I didn't want to make any excuse, and I didn't want to miss the moment of this powder. Thumbs up. All right. Are you ready to hear my review? Keep watching. Alright, so I had time to refresh a little bit to just wave with this cheap ass chew box stop to get a little fresh. We have no air conditioning at home, so I'm dying. Alright, let's get to the review. The Huda Beauty released their beautiful face setting, easy bake, loose baking and setting powder. Now, I have this, I own the Charlotte Tilbury one, the press one, which is very famous and very fine. It's a great one. But I always wanted to have something from Huda Beauty because I think that her products look great. Her products look absolutely great. And other than Jeffree Star, she's like one of those beauty gurus who has a successful line of own products. Plus, I needed, I wanted to bake, I wanted to have a baking powder. I had one from Maybelline, um, but that one was just too dry. It just dried my under eyes and stuff like that. And because I have dry under eye skin, my under eye skin is super dry, I wanted to try Huda Beauty. She's like the same complexion as me, a little more tan, you know, she has Arabic roots, so, so, so do I. So I was like, well, maybe she understands, you know? Anyway, so I purchased this beautiful powder in the color Banana Bread, and it's a perfect powder for me. It's for olive medium skin, so olive undertones, so my skin. And I was very scared, because I'm very skeptical about buying, buying a powder. Let's be honest, most powders for people with dry under eyes, like myself, we get dry under eyes when we try to bake. All our fine lines are suddenly ten times more visible, and that's what I wanted to avoid at all costs. So I was like, please powder, please, please don't fail me. I ordered this like a week ago. I have it like, now three, four days. Wanna tell you the honest truth? Y'all can check the date. I purchased this at Cult Beauty. A lot of y'all know Cult Beauty. It's a beautiful, beautiful website that, will, that uh, sells one of the best makeup ever. Everything that's Cult favorite. Um, and Huda Beauty, when I saw this powder, I didn't even see the promotional shoot or whatever. I just saw this powder on Cult Beauty because I visit Cult Beauty on a weekly basis, definitely. And so I saw this powder and I was like, oh damn, I need that. I need that. I want a powder to bake. I want to have a powder that doesn't dry my under eye. And it's set for all skin types. I was like, okay, let me have a drink first. The powder was a little expensive. I'll put the prices right here. It's an expensive powder when you compare it to other powders like Maybelline and L'Oreal, whatever other brands. But it's a great powder. I can successfully say that it doesn't dry your under eyes. And I'm so happy to say that. I have dry under eyes. And so I'm very skeptical about just purchasing any powder. I have the RCMA powder, which is okay, very decent. And then I have the Maybelline one that for dry under eyes, it doesn't work for me. My work for you, doesn't work for me. This one, guys, I can honestly say it's a great powder and it doesn't dry your under eyes out. It doesn't take all the oils away from your skin. So I love this powder. Plus, you can choose different shades. And the scent, oh my god, the scent. Somehow, this reminds me of my mother's perfume that she used to wear when, she, when I was little and we went to the airport. She used to wear this perfume, like a perfume that's uh, reminiscent of the scent. Hold on, I just need to. Jesus Christ. Y'all, y'all better thumbs up this video because if y'all don't give me a thumbs up for feeling this wetter, then look at me. This is not highlighter, this is sweat. This is highlighter. This is sweat. All right. The pro, whatever is going on with the controversy, right, uh, of this powder that she stole from Beauty Bakery. Now, I'm not, I don't agree with stealing uh, anything from any brand, especially from a smaller company. Beauty Bakery has great products. I don't own any of them, but I've seen them already past and I was like, mm, maybe I should try the face oil or whatever. They have, like, great stuff and beautiful packaging. So, um... I'm not mad at Huda Beauty, I'm just like, hmm, you could have done better, you know? Um, she has an entire team that works with her, I'm sure. I don't want to say it's her fault completely, but you know, you know it's, it's kind of controversial. And I see Jeffree Star arguing with her, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm a fan of both of these people. I love Jeffree Star, and I love Huda Beauty. So I'm like, <laughs> just smile. So that's what I'm doing, I'm just smiling. Um, I have nothing to say on the controversy, because I'm not a drama channel, I just review products that I love, and I'm trying to give people my most honest opinion. And my channel is all about, not positivity, because let's be honest, you know, we all love a little drama and shade. But my, my channel is really about providing out with the most beautiful products and that works for everyone or, you know, people with sensitive skin or dry skin like myself. I don't have dry, dry skin, but I have some places like the other eyes that are dry. And I feel like a lot of people can relate to me just because of that. That's my cat there. Ignore him. He's trying to mess up my review. He's trying to steal my shine. Like, literally, my shine. Um, guys, that was the review. That's my honest opinion on it. I, there's nothing else to say. This powder is great. The scent is great. It works good. I'm so sorry for the controversy because it shouldn't take away that this has an amazing formula. And that's the truth. It has an amazing formula. And that's just it. Um, I'm so sorry for Beauty Bakery. I hope their sales are skyrocketing. Um, and that's all I can really say on it. Huda Beauty, congratulations on a great formula. And I finally have a powder that doesn't dry my under eyes out. I'm sure there are other ones, but this one is the first one that works. And I'm very happy. I can absolutely recommend this to everyone who has dry under eyes and doesn't want to accentuate those fine lines and wrinkles. This is a great powder. It really is. Plus, you have great shades. And it smells divine, divine, really. So that was my honest review on it. Thumbs up for the weather, thumbs up for the sweat, and thumbs up for the review. See you next one.